Well, I think obviously good uh, resource investment into states is a good thing. Obviously helps with infrastructure and other things, but this is certainly not a long-term solution. What I'm hearing about now as we head toward April 15th right. is a lot, of, a lot of people very frustrated. The fact they're getting their tax returns back and their accounts are saying, hey, you know how you used to pay this much? Well, now you're paying this much more. Because in the average, uh, in, in Bergen County, which is part of my district, average SALT deduction is 24000 So you can imagine the $10,000 cap is having a real impact on their returns. And that's what people are panicked about. And the muni bonds are certainly, for them, not a long-term solution. Congressman, is the toothpaste out of the tube, meaning do you think you, you, even if your party were, were, were to win in, in 2020 and, and somehow take over the House and even the Senate, I'm not, I, I don't know, do you think that the SALT deductions would, would come back? If we won, yes, I do. There's a lot of us, uh, remember, from a lot of states who were really feeling the pain right now, and our taxes have gone up, not down, under the tax hike bill. And of course, it's affecting pe population, it's affecting businesses, it's affecting people leaving. And I'm hearing it all the time. And people are really frustrated, right? These states that pay more in federal taxes suddenly got hosed and are paying even more, and obviously subsidizing these other states. Congressman, Moody's just came out with a report saying that New Jersey, New York, California, are actually going to become more dependent on the wealthy because of these tax changes coming up in the next few years. And if you raise taxes on the wealthy, whether it's in New Jersey or federally, isn't that going to make the problem worse where you have these states dependent on the most volatile incomes in the entire distribution? And so therefore, should you look to broaden the base? Or how do you see New Jersey dealing with that problem in the future, given that you want to raise taxes on the wealthy? Well, I don't. I, I couldn't agree more that we should be cutting taxes, not raising them. Yes. Uh, and I, I don't believe raising taxes is the answer. I think just the opposite. You have to cut taxes. You have to make uh, it more attractive for businesses and jobs to stay and grow in the state. And that's what I'm very focused on. How do we actually attract uh, more businesses and how do we grow jobs in New Jersey? How do we make sure we invest in infrastructure and other things to that so that we can make the commutes easier because that's a big decision maker for families. We've got a lot going for us in terms of safe communities and obviously great schools uh, and great pizza. But how do, you, how do you make sure you keep people there and we can't run them off with high taxes, we've got to cut taxes? Do you, you, he's the most bipartisan yeah. freshman. And, and I, I, I don't know how you walk around there. Don't, people, don't your colleagues throw stuff at you, Josh? I mean, how do you... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's tough, isn't it? I mean, it, it, <laughs> no, no. There's a lot, you know, by the way, there's a lot of, of uh, uh, pro-business Democrats like me who think, you know, we need to make sure we make things more affordable for people. And if you make things more affordable, you get more people, and actually that broadens the base. You know, the key is not to to run out people who, who are doing well, but we have to make sure that we provide broad-based opportunity, yeah. but, uh, but keep people in the state. I just wonder who, like who a guy like you out of the, uh, at the, the over-under is 20 now on the number of Democrats running. Uh, is, is there, is, are there a couple that, 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 that would pass muster with your well, view on pro-business or whatever? Because uh, you, you know where a lot of them are, it's wacky. Well, yeah, well, mean, you, uh, yeah, well, you know, you always hear from the extremes on both sides. What, what you don't realize is the way we just won the House, of course, was through the middle. Uh, in okay, 30 so districts of President Trump won, Democrats won, right? So those, so, so, those are the, so those are the people we're talking about. In New Jersey, how about Mikey Sherrill, not far away from me? Max Rose in New York, no, who's no, not far no, away no, from us, Anthony for Brindisi president, in New York. For president, yeah. for president, for president. Uh, give me, give oh, me you want me calling, you, call you want me calling president? How about we focus on, He's how we focus on and right weaving, now? weaving, dodging and weaving. Can I just want to. No, I'll tell you why. I, I endorsed the great Cory Booker from New Jersey, and we all did in New Jersey. Uh, oh, okay. But let me tell you, but let me tell you this. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you, he's great, he's from my district. Let me, let me tell you this, though. I really believe that if we focus on pro-growth policies and actually focus on broad-based opportunity and focus on jobs, 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 that's the way we're going to grow this economy and how New Jersey is going to grow.